Hey folks, I'm just making an update to my dog deterrent or bark deterrent device or the cannon. I decided to make a powerful one and I want to show what I got. This is the old one that I had and the tweeter in here is a little tweeter that was recommended by these people here chemo so if you watch my previous video you see that I mailed this made this cannon and put a bug or whatever trap in the front to stop them from going in and it's sealed in the back but I think it's not good enough to deter the dog across it's about maybe hundred feet away so I ordered a real powerful tweeter it's about 100 watts and it moves a lot of air and you can see the difference between them two and it's really big and powerful and on top of it I ordered an amplifier a hundred watt amplifier with an adjustable volume that goes between the sound generator and this tweeter and I'm gonna show you a test <coughs> excuse me I'm going to show you a test of how much air this one is moving and uh, it's obvious this is a little tiny one that is embedded in here so what I'm going to do I got a PVC pipe this is an inch and a quarter diameter it has a screw on horn which I couldn't find anywhere so I got me a, a PVC pipe with the inside diameter of an inch and a quarter that fits nicely and snugly around the, this new tweeter oops but I'm gonna use maybe seven or eight inches of this pipe and use one of these funnels to disperse the sound around and either that or this one and glue it with the, the cement the PVC cement to make it more effectively so I'm go I may be using 7 or 8 or 10 inches and then change it to a different length and so on to see how effective and long range this would be the problem with using this without the amplifier it will cause this thing to heat up and use more battery but with an amplifier between the sound generator and this 
huge air mover won't be any stress on the little sound generator and the battery should last long so let me hook up the wirings and we start from there okay I hooked up the original one that I made to the sound generator and it has right here this little piezo tweeter so I'm gonna fire it up you see the light on it's powering and it's working so I'm gonna hold the phone in front of the the cannon and see if you guys can hear it or not I'm playing with the output on it so now I'm going all the way up I'm going all the way down And to test it, to see if it's moving any air, I'm going to hold my lighter. I don't see any movement of air. I'm going to number four on the settings. I don't know if you can hear it, I can hear it. I don't see any movement of air. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna <coughs> connect the new one that I'm making and check that one out. Okay, I got the output connected to the big tweeter. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm gonna fire it up. I'm gonna go all the way down to one setting. I can't tell my wife is complaining already. I'm gonna go down. All the way to 10. And I'm gonna try the air pressure on level, let's say four. Actually it's three. Four. 
I don't see any distortion in the flame. I'm gonna go to two. I don't see any distortion. A little bit. I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to three and a half. As I mentioned, oh, it's too strong. I'm going to turn it off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go use about maybe 10 inches of this PVC pipe. <coughs> and then modify one of these funnels to fit at the end of it it kinda gonna look like either like this I like this one because it has a shield to prevent the water in going in and either this one an 18 inch funnel so I will keep you updated the outcome but this is definitely has more air movement with whatever amplifier this provides but once I get the 100 watt amplifier I'll use that in combination between the generator and this big tweeter to create more power. So we'll see. Thank you. And here's the finished product. And I'm just waiting for the amplifier to come in so I can do a real test with an amplifier. Hope you guys liked it.